Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Hop Realtor. Well, I'm back in my favorite one acre lot community, Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas, and I'm out here because there's a house on the market that just might fit one of my out of state clients' needs. This house is built by Grand Endeavor, and it's their same plan as their model home, which I did a video tour of about a year and a half ago. This is a, let me get this right, four bedroom, three and a half bath. 3,600, just over 3,600 square feet, and it was built in 2019. It's a beautiful home. Let's go check it out. This is a really nice part of the area. Um, this is on the natural gas side. Got some uh, neighbors out here doing some chit chatting because this is a very sociable community. The neighbors here uh, do like to get to know each other because, uh, well, that's what. A big part about Vintage Oaks is also some great school districts in this community. Uh, definitely like the Smith and Valley uh, High School. It's a big deal. But this is a beautiful home on a 1.01 acre, so just over one acre. But let's go check out the inside of this house. I do hear some construction going on out in the background there. And all of this is going to be someone else's lot, so you might have someone else coming in eventually but this is a three-car garage house and the asking price for this house is like I mentioned 890k which equates to about uh 240 dollars a square foot which is actually really nice because a lot of builders right now trying to get them to build something around 200 to 240 dollars a square foot really difficult that's building if you've already got a lot so this already has the one acre lot included and getting everything together for that price in this market right now as of early november 2021 is really difficult to do all right let's head on inside loving these big double doors right when you come in you do have an office with some beautiful french doors Love the tile wood looking floors. More shot of that double door. And this area here, they've got it set up kind of an office space. It can also be your formal dining room just by switching out the light fixture. But I like the office setup because yeah, you already have your big breakfast, breakfast nook right over there. But let's look out this main living space nice open feel to this area and it's a beautiful kitchen see they went with the upgraded cabinets nice built-in microwave your dual stacked ovens and it's important to know different areas of part of vintage oaks some areas are on natural gas and some of them are propane this house would be on natural gas. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, you do have a gorgeous single basin porcelain sink. But one of the things I do like is uh, there's a little more to it. You can come right around the corner here and you have Perfect little butler pantry set up, place for your extra dishes, for your little prep staging area back here. And you can close it off from the office if you want to. And then you've got your still have your pantry kind of right here. And this is a good size pantry. Because yeah, we're right off the kitchen there. All right, since we're on the side of the house anyways, let's show you the laundry room. It does have a sink in it, which is very handy. You do have your mud room coming off of the three car garage. We'll do a quick head poke in here because but I know they got vehicles in here, but yeah, good size garage. And I was trying to see, I. I'm going to look to see if I can find a water softener. Yep, does have the water softener back there. Good deal. And then you've got your ideal guest bedroom. It's 
tucked off on this side of the house all by themselves with a good sized closet and their own private bath. And it's a full bath, shower tub combo, tile going all the way to the ceiling. So yeah, if you've got those long-term guests, this is really nice because they can have a little separation. And the eight foot doors are always nice. If you got tall ceilings, those eight foot doors come in handy. Well, I wouldn't say come in handy, but they look really, really nice. All right, let's head back through <coughs> kitchen area, back to the main living space. Loving that big fan. And we come around to the secondary and third bedrooms that can be blocked off with this uh, barn door. Because you also have uh, your little entertainment room. Nice little spot for a movie room if you don't mind disturbing people if they're trying to sleep back there. But this does have its own powder room. Where this powder room will be open to the main living space most of the time as well. But this is perfect for if you've got trying to entertain or if you've got a family and it's like, okay, this is y'all space, y'all can have this space. <clears throat> but we do have two bedrooms here with a Jack and Jill bathroom with good sized closets. I'm going to show you more of the views out there in a second. But yeah, good sized closets in here. Plenty of space. A little Jack and Jill bathroom with little pocket doors right there. With a shower tub combo. Dual vanities. Like I said, still loving this tile. This is the other bedroom. Kind of a real similar to that one, but maybe not as nice as a closet. And I'm correct. Still a good size closet. Just not as big as the other one. So if you got someone who needs a little more closet space, the other bedroom's gonna be a little better for them. But they'll both be able to share this communal spot or if you want that this area for yourself, make this your game room, you certainly can. Nice tray ceilings. All right, so this is a plenty good size uh dining room slash breakfast nook area let's go ahead outside and check this space out <clears throat> now no pool here but this is a really good spot if you wanted to put a pool in because it's a very flat lot plenty of space out here love the rooftop <clears throat> So you can just see, you've got some beautiful oak trees on this property. Very nice. It does have the nice high-end uh, shutters, the uh, shingles, sorry. And it's already got the uh, gutters on it. You can see the back of the neighbor's house back that direction. So they do a little fire pit sitting, which is such a good time of year for that. This house already has the high-end shutters on the inside. So yeah, if you're looking to move to this part of Texas and get something really move-in ready, this is a great option. I really do like it a lot. And I hopefully one of my buyers who sees this video will think the same thing. I actually got a couple buyers who this might be a good fit for. All right, let's head on inside and hit that owner suite up. I'm trying not to show the family pictures. All right, let's go and hit the bathroom up and then we'll finish with a bedroom. But this is a beautiful bathroom. Love the uh, separated dual vanities. The giant soaking tub, and this thing's pretty deep. 
but a really big walk-in shower with a mud inset. Very nicely done. And a really nice size closet. I'm gonna do a quickie in here because someone's living here. No need to show off all their stuff. But there's a shoe rack there too. And you got your water closet. I'm assuming that's the water closet there. And it is. Ooh, spacious too. All right, let's check out this owner suite. Like I said, love that these are high end uh, shutters. Ooh, something else they've got to point out. Having a door from your master bedroom closet being able to poke out here for your coffee is kind of nice. But a really good size bedroom and they kept the wood looking short uh, tile floor going all the way through so if that's something you're interested in there you go get one last big look around of the main living space a beautiful fireplace there too all right, that's gonna wrap the tour of this ready to move in home built by Grand Endeavor in 2019. Remember this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, just over 3,600 square feet. And as of early to mid November, 2021, the seller is asking 890K. And if you want to schedule a tour or just some time with me, I will put a link to my calendar app in the description. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.